also coming and investing your uh, time into this editing. So some of us are trying to match the deadline for some of the symposium which will be by the end of uh, May. It's very hard to fit my the last extension from the uh, Responsibility to mention them fairly and, and address them if they are, um, if they can be addressed, or at least to show others how to think about them. So, and it is a very good help if your work was previously presented at a conference. Uh, most of us travel to uh, Sanibel. Some of us uh, presented seminars recently, and. Uh, by the nature of scientific communications, you do hear some feedback from uh, visitors to your posters or from attendees of, of your oral presentations. So there uh, you can see as signatures what in your work induces enthusiasm, healthy jealousy of uh, other people who wanted to, to do the same problem, or um, aggressive criticism telling that it is not acceptable or, or highly problematic. So uh, it is a prompt what induces interest in the community and these questions can be added to the uh, discussion. So if you were recording or memorizing uh, feedback of unbiased audience, uh, it is a best thing just to list what you remember and uh, put your comment, to put or not to put, but uh, your comments to this criticism into the discussion section. Also, you may have your own uh, uh, doubts in your work. It is completely healthy to put it here. If, again, for any research we do, uh, um, there is a stage of choosing method. Sometimes we use standardized methods and we do not uh, deviate from straight path, but hypothetically, one could select one or another method. And uh, it is good to mention that uh, although I have chosen PBE, I could have chosen ISRAVIP or HSE. Or although um, I used Redfield theory, I could have used just plain thermal uh, 
is full uh, positive and negative consequences. You, you do not need to write all the things, only those that uh, seem uh, impo important to you. Or like uh, I'm discussing experimental quantum dots that are 100 nanometers, and my work is uh, one nanometer size. It's a, a very big approximation to project my results to a realistic system, but uh, there are some common features. So uh, discussion section is a uh, very appropriate place to mention all these things. And uh, things like that, like uh, approximations um, going towards the limits of applicability happen always and uh, by the nature of, of the research. And, uh, it is healthy to, to mention it. Also, um, some of us do some of us do uh, select straight forward description of the results, which is it, it's not wrong. Like figure one, figure two, placed in, in the results, and then in the results section, as we see from figure one, this material absorbs light. As we see from figure two, if excited energy is released, end of results section. Like where some of a select very brief uh, list of facts. If uh, you see that you have missed something that doesn't fit in this uh, straightforward list of facts, one can always add it to the discussion section, as it is most uh, creative thing. And uh, another another aspect that one can consider to place there is to interpret. So often, nothing here is like written in stone, but uh, if formally if you start writing a paper, it means that uh, you have identified some uh, challenge in, in the community that you want to address with computation. And before starting computation, you may have developed possible answer or hypothetical answer of how this challenge is, is addressed. And, uh, it's very appropriate place the discussion section is a very appropriate place to mention if this um, hypothetical answer was supported, was proved right or wrong with the uh, computations. Um, also, we all are humans and we, we develop our opinions. Sometimes uh, you get excited about your results, sometimes you get pessimistic. But uh, you may express it because uh, the result is w w it is what it is. But uh, um, even if results are not perfect, your assessment of their strengths and weaknesses does serve as a um, traffic light or like street name on the street. Uh, as a milestone uh, showing others who uh, explore similar systems or who practice similar methods whether this direction is, is good or not good to go or which direction one should deviate. So sometimes comments uh, in discussion are most valuable part of the, of the overall paper. So um, it is not an exam or court case where the author is uh, uh, allowed to uh, live or um, provided with uh, death uh, sentence. It's uh, more, let's look together on the situation and uh, make a collective decision what anyone who tries to do similar things should do in the, in the future. Um, okay. And since it is most creative uh, part of the paper, it is uh, really hard to uh, assess and, and, and grade, but um, you may, as, as, as uh, we repeatedly again and again play this game when uh, each of us play two roles, one as author and another as reviewer, so uh, reviewer comments, the ones in big lives and uh, this uh, mock reviews that we do here serve uh, really 
well to authors to improve and uh, find a way how to improve papers. Not necessarily in the sense of results, but definitely in a way how the thoughts are communicated. And uh, while you are reading, you may mention if uh, author discussion contains the discussion, if the author um, tries to make obstruction, uh, intellectual obstruction from practical steps to uh, more general trends, from the uh, narrow-minded methods to more general physical picture of what is likely happening in, in the system. And uh, if uh, also uh, one may identify also does see any features of the system, any conditions uh, which may affect main result, main trend, either in computation or in experiment or in computation done with different methods, uh, like uh, which approximations or which uh, effects neglected or taken into account are assumed to temperature uh, is it uh, reasonable is it acceptable is it just shorten the time until reaction or it qualitatively changes uh, the reaction or uh, the influx of electric field does it just continuously shifts energies or it uh, reconfigures overall system reconfigures shape of orbitals and it will be a completely different system upon when one applies electric field anything or uh, how much absence of uh, solvent affects results because there is a way to computation include solvent but uh, we often miss it so typically it uh, just uh, shortens the energy so we also may mention if it looks like author did construct the draft of a paper as uh, hypothesis with uh, um, right or wrong confirmation of this hypothesis uh, from the results, and if this train of thought is reflected in uh, conclusions. So if you, if you do see it, you may encourage authors and tell, like, uh, it's really great, easy to follow, or if it is missing. write down like uh, this writing could be too technical or even boring do not, do not hesitate to give strong feedback because it's all friendly our, uh, audience and it is a help to overcome resistance of uh, big life reviewers in the future discussion section trend between conditions of uh, the simulations and uh, how the results are, are okay so did anyone uh, completed reading of uh, discussion section by uh,
Can you bring it to the pyramid and show it here? First, to quickly write uh, using your words, what this paper is about. So, what I understand here is that ground state electronic structure calculation in the presence of electric field, but the model is absent. What's so that? What What is the model here? Thank you. Oh, you're suggesting to treat a reader as a baby who doesn't remember what was on the previous page and through mind, right? As, as oh, you, as okay, you, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I like this idea. I, I'm trying to do this, the same. Like, uh, you may have forgotten that on uh, two pages ago we defined that this model consists of something. Mm -hmm. it, it's not bad. <laughs> okay. Um, so, question number one. Uh, does uh, author focused on the discussion of the results after the brief dis uh, description? I don't think so. So I'm only, uh, what I uh, understand here, you discussed uh, on mainly about computational problem, uh, no discussion on uh, thickness or strength of your methods or results. That's what I understand, I, I, so I'm not sure. <laughs> like, uh, I might be wrong, okay. So, and question number two. Physical process. Uh, I, I can understand that uh, electrical, um, electronic properties um, with different uh, electric field. You study, right? And then, does author identify list of conditions? Yes, different um, uh, strengths of different. Strengths of uh, uh, electric field, yeah. Like you put different values of electric field and uh, see what happened. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's basically I was just trying to get it to work. And it wasn't. So I was trying all sorts of stuff just to see if anything worked. And question number four: uh, Does author identify any hypothesis, right, wrong, based on computer data? <laughs> And for question six, um, yes, quality change when you put different uh, magnitudes of electric field, I mean, different values of magnetic field. So of course, there is a gap of magnetic field. So that's what okay, I have yeah, written. Yeah, thank you much. Thank you much. <laughs> I guess my first impression is this kind of a discussion reads like a report for the group instead of for the paper. So of course, there are lots of uh, stuff about technical details. Yeah. And for the second paragraph, I guess I don't understand, is there any changes? for the electronic structure after you're adding that electric field? No, so basically I would run the optimization without an electric field, and then I would impose an electric field and rerun the optimization, and it would just finish immediately. Like it would only take two or three ionic steps and it would just be done. But so how about the orbital occupation? Does it change it? No, no changes. The band, band gap of I mean, there are, you know, like 0. 0.0001 EV differences certain areas, but it, uh, there's effectively no difference at all. Okay. 
Did you try to search literature to see if anyone found something? I wasn't able to find anything or figure anything out to make it not just fail. I don't know. Because in the paper you said there might be some incorrect parameters, right? So. I mean, that's my guess, is that I'm just doing something dumb and it's just not working. But, I mean, I've tried so many different things that it might just be a bug in the past, I don't know. Did you try different versions or different implementations of bugs in the systems? No. I, well, I mean, like, uh, I did Edison and Corey, I guess. But there's also that, a uh, version of Thunder, Raspberry <coughs> uh, Thunder, and the uh, Raspberry uh, uh, Photon. is a little pathetic. And last question is for molecular dynamics. So why you do molecular dynamics? Is it a basis for non-adiabatic coupling calculations? Ooh, let's say that again. So why you do molecular dynamics calculations? To try to calculate the, basically the changes in the density matrix. Basically do the same thing that I did with the previous stuff. Um, except instead of changing out ligands, I'm changing an electric field. So find new and red couples. Yeah. Then is it is it necessary to include electrical field in molecular dynamics calculations? Do you expect the significant changes in the you know atom positions? No, but the fact that if I was running heating or molecular dynamics that it would just every single time it would fail on the second ionic step suggests that there is something definitely not going right with the implementation of the electric field. Because no matter what I did, it was just the second step, it just fails every time. So I was able to kind of cheat around that, you know, but it still is probably not trustable. And on, on itself, uh, this question, uh, as a byproduct, it, it is really cool. It's like uh, whether presence of electric field will affect molecular couples. Because uh, strong field, will not uh, weak field will just adjust energies. A strong field will shape change shapes of orbitals and therefore will change uh, their overlaps. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's interesting question here, even if uh, every single world. I don't know how you do a lecture in this audience with blinking uh, screen. Oh, so, um, like reading this uh, masterpiece from the beginning, uh, the effect of an electric field obtained through VASP calculations uh, are not trustworthy. I would edit it r r right away without telling that it is uh, keeping the doubts, but. Uh, like precision of effects or, or qualitative trends, more specific, not, not effects, but precision or trends, and um, not trustworthy was uh, significantly limited from the point of view of authors, right? We do not know, maybe someone would like it, it's just ver verbal way. Um, so before or maybe right after this line, which could be a good summary to attract attention, um, one may declare, make a, um, a little declaration, because right now, by reading, like if we wouldn't uh, attend presentations by London, and, and if we wouldn't look at his poster, we may look that he's just trying to fight VASP and see if it is able to compute something reasonable with electric field. But uh, there is an important declaration missed that uh, effect of electric field was taken into account by two complementary approaches. By uh, First, by literal uh, use of constraint DFT implemented in specific software, and second, by combining unperturbed ground state DFT with account of electric field by perturbation theory. In the whole paper, 
could be formulated as comparison, uh, like at least at most, if all results would be perfect, paper could be formulated as comparison of these two approaches. Now, after this declaration, for for the whole of this uh, big paragraph, one can take in approach A, and then uh, keep keep going and analyzing. And at the end, one would need to tell um, what happened in approach B because it is actually what was uh, performed. So for the first part, where uh, a lot of field is blindly in input into DFT as a parameter. Like, uh, WASP is a software that implements DFT with some uh, constraint DFT procedure. Um, is there a term in DFT that uh, procedure that includes electric field? Maybe it is included or will be included in the uh, methods uh, section that one may refer to. Now, um, da -da 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 -da. the electric field turned um, was behaving suspicious. Which figure or table illustrates that it is suspicious? Uh, which evidence? Is it just words or there is figure in the result that looks strange? Um, I'm not asking, it, it's just observation as a, as a reviewer, you may or may not take, take it into account. Uh, for ground state, like uh, uh, energy, this electric field energy. So maybe it was reported in some table and it is a good place to refer to this table. If it is not uh, the best or most interesting result, maybe it is in supporting information, but if it is not mentioned in the results, then why uh, uh, discuss it? You, uh, FOPT Yeah, but for for s not it, it may be not a common abbreviation for everyone. Right, I just didn't want to type it out a bunch of times. Regime consistent achieved convergence in five ionic steps. Um, it's just know that maybe uh, orbitals were different if you put electric field. Maybe not. Again, it's uh, maybe too late to add more calculations, but it's always uh, curious. Also, not as new calculations, but as, as a thought, is there a way to uh, mimic electric field in the as maybe in a third way, uh, not by perturbation theory and not by uh, explicit parameter, but maybe putting uh, point charges, like an ion that would take oxidation as cation and anion, freeze them above and below surface, and assume that they will create electric field. I saw papers where people doing it because it is more trustable than uh, putting a review. Uh, it could be too late to r redo things, but you may mention it as an, as an opportunity. And at the end of this analysis of approach A, um, again, assuming that no calculations will be done from now on, but uh, from the point of view of authors, uh, is there evidence to blame general implementation of uh, electric field in uh, DFT procedure, or it is only specific uh, compilation or specific version? Um, so. Is it like general problem or just particular particular way? Maybe no, no, no. I'm not asking. I'm, I'm just mentioning. One can even without answer, uh, one can write. Uh, we are not sure if it is general problem for all implementations or the particular one that we explore. Now, for the approach B. Um, well, what is good? What is bad? Uh, is it justified to trim um, the 
perturbation is only the first term. Uh, what, what is missed if, if uh, um, one is not including higher order term? Um, generally, what is criterion to compare and like approach A and, and approach B? Right now, maybe it is not uh, um, helpful to compare them because you are telling that approach A gives some garbage. But if, if everything will be perfect, which uh, criteria, which observable, which numerical quantity would uh, make the convergence? And as Fatima uh, mentioned, and you will also mention that right now it looks a little technical, right? And uh, you may break by breadth of your thoughts in discussion, even if results do not allow it. So, um, just depart from technical uh, questions and share thoughts like uh, uh, what was the potential m m main applied challenge that makes this calculation necessary. So, uh, we did a little interview and how electric field affects charge rate, whether it makes uh, electric field rate charge transfer slower or quicker, or maybe it completely shuts it off or, uh, or speeds uh, make it more, more efficient. Um, so, is there, to which extent the computer computations address this challenge? Right now, you are telling that uh, approach A with blind implementation was, uh, doesn't show much correlation between electric field and any parameters. And for B, probably there are more rich results, which also have doubts in their applicability, but it, it can be this way, this can be viewed. And uh, <coughs> if one wants to find uh, reviewers, need help. Uh, reviewers are lazy and they do not have time mostly and if you want positive review you may there is nothing wrong to give them an opportunity to say good things about your work just by putting your words in their mouth and tell like you may think you may observe different things but there are also good uh, something good about this work. So some uh, intu intuitive expectations did match calculations. Like for approach A was nothing, but for approach B, there was a trend that uh, by changing electric field, uh, one uh, increases or decreases band gap, right? And it, it's really good expectation to uh, observation that m matches intuitive expectations. It's a positive feature of this work, and it is nothing wrong to highlight. Well, too technical. Problems with software. Uh, I put it as right, right or wrong. One may add that um, this calculation was done in order to, to find if uh, electric field speeds up or slows down charge transfer. It can be, like, as Fatima suggested, to rem remind reader what is the system, one can also remind uh, the reader and reviewer what was the main question. And uh, there is no one will blame author if uh, this main question will be repeated at the beginning of introduction, at the beginning of results, and at the beginning of discussion. So, finally, did we found that the electric field slows down and speeds up transfer. Yeah. And I don't know if it is right or wrong, I was uh, writing it in a rush, but um, by tuning electric field, one, one key can modify gap in a broad range from zero to very broad. So in some sense, maybe one can interpret it as material is tuned from being metal to semiconductor, at least for. I'm not sure if it is the right thing to say, but from what you see from perturbation theory, you can do it. 
more comments about uh, work of Phantom. So the idea is that we all try to implement uh, some feedback uh, when uh, in whatever time we draft from the overall paper. So do you have uh, feedback? Comments on the text, just some grammar stuff. Um, I don't know, it seems outlined pretty well. The main takeaway is trying to improve chemical and colloidal stability and photophysical properties of these materials and you mentioned we're playing to the strengths that you see spontaneous lichen absorption due to exothermic reaction and not a lot of comments on the photophysical properties but I just assume you're still working on them at this point so yeah okay. that's my yeah, thanks for bringing it up. Basically, I just was looking for a precursor to make the surface protect protect the surface and at least maintain the optical, optical properties. Um, did a fairly good job going and actually talking about your results. Although the, I'm assuming that you're still working on these two sections. Okay. So what I understand from this study is, uh, is that uh, um, he tried to make a particulate layer of benzene, diazonium, bromide, and silicon surface, and then he studied particular and electric, electronic properties of that uh, protective uh, silicon surface. And question number one. see author uh, focused on the discussion uh, of results after the uh, description. Um, so the physical work, what I understand. What I understand here, the physical uh, process uh, is a chemisorption of phenyl groups on silicon surface. And 
then the list of conditions which may affect the main result I uh, incorrect again get uh, to keep on keep present to try you know, point on it and the hypothesis uh, uh, the diazonium to phenyl transformation is exothermic that's what I understand and uh, connection or correlation between any conditions of the simulation will be needed to exemplify I'm not sure uh, and finally the qualitative change of the system mm. so if the solvent is not treated explicitly then error might be might come and that is missing the polarization of the area that's all Okay, yeah, thank you much. So I guess when you mentioned the critical size of the nanowires, from the context, it sounds like you're talking about the diameter, but I'm not 100% sure. It, it is actually the diameter that you're talking about there, right? OK. Um, uh, the sentence that I circled here, I guess, I was a little, I, I don't know anything about the Van Hoek singularity, so I just didn't really follow it particularly well. Um, so you suggest to treat readers as uh, <coughs> kids and provide definition just in case if someone has a word. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, that, that's always good. Um, and then uh, at the bottom, you mentioned something being smaller. Oh yeah, you, you mentioned that the choice of the functional has a smaller effect in crystalline silicon. Are you saying that it's smaller in crystalline silicon than in silicon nanowires, or I guess what are you? I think this sentence is kind of messy. <laughs> but crystalline, like you mean bulk? Crystalline versus like uh, bulk versus nanowire confined, or crystalline versus amorphous? Okay. Yeah, because I, I just wasn't sure what you were comparing crystal and silicon to. Um, that's that's all I have on that. Okay, yes, yeah, thank you. So basically my comment is, I'm really not sure what your paper is about from this discussion. You give a, a nice overview here, but it really doesn't explain what you're, <laughs> you're actually trying to figure out or working on or doing. Is it? It's pretty much. <laughs> Okay, so the first question here is you talk about absorption of silicon nanowire and you also mentioned lifetime of uh, hard carriers. So what's the connection? So uh, as I interpreted this criticism, it doesn't mean that this idea is wrong. It means that it needs to be defined in more details, like for kids. Can I uh, explain what is the connection? Yeah, I think um, Talk about some singularity and 
this kind of factor. But I guess you already mentioned this in your previous paper, right? So why you need to repeat it here? I guess maybe you should focus on emission and also quantum yields. Again, it doesn't mean that it is wrong or doesn't need to be wrong, but uh, define and mention connection. Singularity like peaks in, in the density of states of absorption, and then uh, like, uh, maybe because of this one dimensional features, one expects uh, like very sharp uh, peaks in uh, absorption and emission. Yeah. 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 Huh? Here I just wrote uh, short <laughs> that's, no, that's okay, we still, we still have That's it. Okay, yeah, thank you. So, um, anyone wants to uh, speak about the work of the uh, work about uh, the work by uh, who is missing today? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Anything or I can just collect and scan the person. So uh, thank you much for investing your time into this uh, activity. And um, what do we have? Daniel will ask either Aaron or London to substitute him in uh, on the conference because he's he's not going. And uh, you can either show his work. He, he it will be oral. He will just provide slides. But uh, since he will not be able to control, you can, uh, and if you are not ready to talk about his work, you can uh, show his part for five minutes and then, but there is much more interesting thing, my own results. It's com completely fine. I, I don't know whom he will choose and whom he will. This presentation uh, is an oral presentation? Yes. Not a no. But <laughs> it's, it's another chance for, for glory, right? And uh, I do not want to intervene. It's it's his problem to ask either one of you. Uh, I, I, I cannot support before he chooses. Um, on Friday, please uh, prepare to present your practice talks. Right? Uh, we will do it. Pr uh, pr uh, we will plan for like 3 p.m. But maybe there will be last minute uh, changes, or if you prefer. Uh, some other time, just let me know ahead of. Um, so we'll do it. We'll present for whatever it takes in uh, real life and collect some uh, questions for improvements. So with the 15 minute time slots, should we plan for 12 minutes of talk? Three. Bless you, bless you, bless you. It's okay. Um, is that all? It, it is your free choice. Okay. If you really want feedback and questions, you speak for 12 minutes and leave three minutes for questions. If you want to shut up uh, anyone, <laughs> any questions, you just talk until the, <laughs> until the chair stops you. Like if you're not confident what to answer, you just keep talking until you're getting stopped. And um, we, those who are not traveling may meet next week, but uh, in the, the the whole group you'll meet only in two weeks. <coughs> so uh, please plan to complete, uh, or at least contribute to completion of introduction section. So it is less uh, creative than uh, discussion. You just mentioned uh, <coughs> your, your goal and what, what interesting is in the, in the literature. And uh, if you do not have EndNode software, or if you're writing in LIDAC, uh, it, it you can keep doing beep tech, but please uh, contact me. Because with EndNode, it is uh, like 20 times more efficient. OK. Meeting is dismissed. Uh, in this room, there will be uh, next generation of computational chemists <laughs> lectures soon.